Salva still quiet. Salva gets up goal, sets up Ravenna. Deng Gamble. Ateneo is one out of five from the three-point area. But they get the ball back. Salva from 18. Finally knocks Aye. one down. First two points of the game. Breaking the zone. Exactly. That was a key shot as well. Where he made his living in game number one. There at the top of the circle. That's where we saw much of his shots and where he starts his drives from. Oh, crossover move by Fortuna. And then he steps back. A thing of beauty from the graduating Tiger. And when you see that from Jerick Fortuna, you know he's in rhythm. You know his confidence is there in his moves and his pull-up shots. And it's Fortuna who draws the assignment against Ravenna. Bumalik sa zona. Etong Ateneo. Buena fe. Titira ng tres. Kapos. Papupunta sa kanya. Ipinapak ay slaughter. What a sharp pass there. That's presence of mind from the veteran, Ryan Buenepe. One of the guys with the highest basketball IQ on Ateneo. Picking up the loose ball and quickly zipping it inside. Six points for Greg Slaughter. Three minutes and 12, 10 remaining here in the first half. Deng. Walang papuntahan. Ferrer. Ferrer tentative on the move. And then finally puts it up and in. Not an easy shot, a running hook there by Ferrer. We hardly see him go to the post, but he does have that height advantage. He is 6-4. Get for that here, 22-20. Halftime of game number one was at 38-31, DJ. And another traveling attraction ball on Ateneo. And Coach Pido wants the ball for time here. PS Bank has an assist, plus mabilis at plus makakamura ka with PS Bank home loan with prime rebate. Get ready for what's next. Have a break, have a Kit Kat. We are at 22-20. Ateneo still in the lead. 22-20 is what we're working with here as we are 2 minutes and 46 seconds away from halftime. And it is Ateneo with that two-point lead. Kiefer Ravenna leading Ateneo with nine points, but all in the first quarter. Kim Lo, eight points all in the first quarter. A drought here oh, yeah. for both teams. Huge drought here. And again, you're saying it's the defense. I credit the defense more. Make one thing balanced then, because oh. you saw some shots rimming in and out. Yes, yes. Abdul to the cutting Mariano. Mariano recomposes himself. Alas pa rin. Three-point play opportunity for the sophomore Kevin Ferrer. Helps to be tall as well with long arms. Only the fourth second chance point of the game for USC, but that's much better from game one where they had zero second chance points. PS Bank strong power move. Mas mabilis at makakamura ka with PS Bank home loan with prime rebate. They take over the lead. That is our third beat change of the game. And they do it ever so slowly here yep. in the second quarter. Salva, umatake. Second field goal for Dima Salva. Lead goes back to Ateneo. Two minute mark of our first half. Back to Abdul underneath with eight to shoot. When if they're ready to double, crossover move! Oh, wow! With the left hand, that crossover with that left hand. He was looking, or Slaughter was looking for the right side, and yep. then you helped the Buenafe. Exactly. That reminds me of his go-ahead basket in their first game when they won. Out to Chongson. Inikot kay Buenafe. Inilalim kay Salva. We've seen two very sharp assists by Ryan Buenefe here in the second quarter. He hasn't been scoring much, but he's been playing the other facets of the game for Ateneo. 26-25, our sixth lead change in the game. Ferrer pops out, doesn't force it. Deng pops out, Deng loses it, but there was a foul. Seven assists for Ateneo, two for USD. Clear men high performance drive. Clear men deep cleanse with activated carbon. Deep cleanse for zero. Dandra, here's that crossover move. A Merrill getaway move. Merrill getaway to adventure. And a smart finish using the glass as opposed to going straight up in the front of the rim. Because he did, baka maabutan pa siya ng napakahabang galamay. Both Slaughter and Abdul Kijay bleeding 
oh, yeah. every basket, or at least every shot. And the lead goes back to USD with 1-10 remaining. Salva up to Slaughter, blocked by wow. Ferrer. A foul is called. It's on, on the Slaughter. big man. On the big man. Wow, what a what anticipation by Ferrer. Know, it, it's uh, hard to call it a block because he anticipated a pass, which is an alley-oop pretty much. This is the last play. Yaki Sobrang move brought to you by Nisin Yaki Sobrang. Yaki Sobrang sarap. But he was there, look at Ferrer. Yeah, no? He read the play so yeah. well. McDonald's hits the replay, overwhelm your senses with the new McDonald's Big and Tasty Dial 6236 for Mac Delivery. That's just basketball IQ for you on the defensive end. Alam naman niya kasi hindi na bababa si Slaughter eh. Abdul inabot ni Slaughter. Abdul trying to get it back in a jump situation and possession arrow points to USD. Let's look at this block by Slaughter from behind. On our McDonald's instant replay, overwhelm his senses with the new McDonald's big and tasty dial 6236 for Mac Delivery. But looks like Abdul discovered something new that he likes, that uh -huh. left-hand crossover. He blew by Slaughter again, and I think or, it's building his confidence now. Or a fadeaway jump shot. Whether it, but it's hard he will dig in with his shoulder yep. and try to take a drop step in the paint. He's by, been unsuccessful with that. By the way, that's the biggest lead of the game for USD. 29-26. And the chat of defense as a foul is called on Mariano on the bigger slaughter, trying to contain the bigger slaughter. You know, here in the three games that these two teams have played, DJ, the team with the halftime lead has not won the game. Ah, because Remember? the team who makes a third quarter run Correct. ends up winning the Correct. game. So, yep. yet. keep that in your back pocket for a while. As USD has the 29-26 lead, will they change the pattern or will the pattern lead or hold rather? As you look at Baco Austria and Jai Reyes, all know how it feels to win a championship. A differential of seven seconds on the shot clock and game clock and it's with Fortuna. Fortuna attacks, fades away, that's off to the right. Last shot time for Ateneo. Ravenna, like a freight train, followed by his good friend, yep. Jeric Fortuna. Hard swiping for the ball foul there by Jeric Fortuna. That's a championship foul. <laughs> and he looks at the Ateneo yep. crowd, said he, he said, was I going went for the ball. I was going for the but ball. But I went for it hard. That's a duty foul. And the Ateneo bench, who unfortunately had a reverse angle from the all the way the other end, asking for an unsportsmanlike foul. But the definition at the is if you have. May buelo, and if you go for harm, if there's intent to harm, but there was no clear, you know, scene to show harm there, but he went for the ball and he did go for it hard though. I want one for it on your screens. I like the demeanor of Jared Fortuna today, TJ. Yep, he's very composed today, and it looks like he's he's got his mindset, you know, for something bigger today than in game number one. Last shot time, 29 all is the score. Mariano spins, drives, no! So what's the trend now? Ah, wala na ako It's the first time we're seeing Andrea and USC tied at the half in the past four times they've met this year. 38-31 was the score at halftime of game one. We are tied at 29 all, halftime. When we come back here at the Arenas Coliseum.